Hey dear guys and gals, I'm coming at you with a quick video. Um, I was looking for a tool for a uh, programmable module install. So basically what that means is if you have a bad module, what the tool does is it goes in and it pulls the information like your VIN and it stores it inside the scanner. And then when you go and swap out the module, you plug it in, you plug in the scanner, and then you redistribute that information to that module to program it to the vehicle so that um, the vehicle will be able to use that specific module. So today we are working on a 2009 Ford Escape XLT. It's actually my wife's vehicle. Um, the scanner I bought, this is my first scanner ever. Ever. I wanted a bi-directional scanner. This is a Maxi Pro MP808 from Autel. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description below if anybody's interested. Um, so far, the 10 minutes I've played around with it, I, I love it so far. Originally, when I purchased this specific scanner, Autel claimed that this scanner did not work with programmable installs. So I actually took a gamble on this. Um, I knew Altel by multiple different channels and multiple different people. So I figured it was worth a try. And I'm very pleased to find out that this does do programmable installs, at least on Fords. So I'm going to show you how you get there. Um, you're going to click Diagnose. You're going to click Ford. Um, you're going to read that if you want to, but most people hit accept. So it just is asking for your VIN. You can manually type it in, but why do that when you can have it read it? So it's reading the VIN. Make sure you turn on your car. Pro tip. There. There we go. So basically all the information, yes, that's the VIN, that's the motor. And then it's asking me if we have factory navigation. I don't believe so. Or I know so. So we're going to click not equipped. So basically, these are all the different options that you can do, but see how it says programming? So we're going to go ahead and click on that because we're going to be programming programming a module. And I, I put it in quotes, I guess. It didn't need to be in quotes, but I, I put it in quotes because I'm not going to actually program it. I'm just going to show you that it does in fact have it. And this is the Ford version 7.52. So I, I do have a Ford update and I will probably go ahead and um, update it and then I will double check to make sure it's there. Um, you probably heard it was basically going through the instrument clamp cluster and fluttering the speedo so it's just going through some tests so now once it's complete you have two options you have programmable programmable parameters which to be completely honest i don't know about i would have to do uh, some research on but what we need is the programmable module install so we're going to click on that and see here's the abs but here are some other ones that you can program like um, the instrument cluster, the audio control module, what was that one? The power steering control module. Oh, I'm sorry. So, so basically you get it, the gem module. So I just wanted to show this to y'all. And once again, it's an MP808. 
So if anybody's interested, like I said, I'll put it in the description below and hope this helps somebody. Um, cause I was completely lost on what type of scanner to buy. I came from a blue driver and this is like night and day difference. So anyways, thank you all and hope you all have a good day.